today I'm gonna be doing a touchless watch for my buddy John Lafreniere here, Lafreniere Trucking Company. And this is gonna be a great truck to use our touchless Stars and Stripes watch on. What I'm excited to see is how long does it really take with this ceiling boom I just installed and our touchless soaps, how fast can we watch this truck? I think we can do it in like maybe 15 minutes, but we'll show this in real time. I've got this camera right here from this perspective, and then I'm gonna put another camera on the opposite side so there'll be no real cuts. We'll just see how long this takes. It's not gonna be a perfect wash. It's just gonna be a head start towards getting the thing looking good. Once I get the touchless wash done, I'm gonna do some degreasing on the engine and the undercarriage, maybe clean up the inside a little bit. So let's get into this. So we got camera number two over here looking this way. Squeeze trigger I'm gonna use here. Got my fancy tactical light on there so I can see real good. And that's hooked up to my ceiling boom. That thing's gonna swivel out get centered over the truck here, and then that boom will swivel from there. This is gonna allow me to go in one pass all the way around and not stop at all, not washing sections, nothing. I'm washing out of direct sunlight, so I don't have to worry about it drying. One thing that uh, John told me is that he went down to a truck wash and they used some stuff that kind of browned his aluminum a little bit. Too bad. I wish that it was like perfect aluminum. So I'm using my X-Factor power washer. This is a seven and a half horse. This thing is 3000 PSI at 3.5 gallons per minute. This is my soap injector. This is gonna allow me to pull my step one. When I'm finished pulling step one, I switch this over to here and that goes down to the step two. Here we go. This is a super nice setup because it shuts itself off after 15 seconds. So you don't have to worry about your pump overheating. Real nice.
Under 14 minutes. Oh. Let's speed up this process a little bit. I'm super happy with this thing. I mean, there's some spots where it's not 100%. So like, this is what I mean when I say you get 90% of the way there. There's still stuff in certain areas where it's real baked on. The paint looks good, the chrome and stainless, that all looks really good. But there's always gonna be a little bit of junk here and there when you do a touchless wash. At least touchless washes that are safe unpolished aluminum, which is definitely what you want. I mean, the last truck wash that hit this did something. They used some kind of soap that left like some light stains in there and that's what you get when you use too abrasive of a soap. Polished aluminum likes to have stuff that is non-etching and not overly powerful but you also have to ride a fine balance like to get the results so that's where Stars and Stripes comes in. I gotta say though I'm pretty happy with this. I thought it would take me just a little bit longer. I usually say it takes about 20 minutes to do this process. Obviously like the ceiling boom gives me a little bit of an advantage. But you can still do this process in under 20 minutes with any power washer. The injector that I used cuts the soap for me automatically. It injects it back at the machine. So that's kind of nice but unnecessary. You can still just use two foam cannons and get the same results. All right well 14 minutes ain't bad. I'll take that. I was probably going medium speed. You know, I probably could go a little quicker, but I also want to get a halfway decent finish. You don't want to miss a spot. The rinse is super important. I always rinse from the bottom up when I'm doing a low pressure foam application and a touchless wash because it helps me see where I was with the pressure a little bit better. So I use the foam as a gauge and work my way up into it. I just find when I rinse top down, everything runs off and then I can't really see where I was because everything looks good wet and you won't notice where you missed with the pressure until it's dry and then you'll see some road film left over here and there. I do rinse top down when I'm doing a hand wash. Any physical contact, uh, contact on the vehicle whatsoever means that you're just going to rinse it top down just to get all the soap off of there. So that, is, that would be the better way when you're doing a hands-on wash. But I find that touchless, I get better results rinsing bottom up. So with the touchless wash out of the way, now I'm going to hit it up with my heavy duty degreaser. I got a cut nice and strong at about 50-50 in my IK Alk 9 here. I'm just going to spray it all over the frame rails, the engine compartment, uh, wipe it around with a junk mitt, and then rinse it off. So let's see how this thing turns out. What's nice about this degreaser is you don't really have to worry about it under polished aluminum. It's not going to take a bite out of it like most degreasers would. I usually designate a certain style of mitt, like this style here, for like really nasty stuff. That way I don't accidentally use it on like the nice uh, painted surfaces and whatnot. I'm only going to wipe down like the frame itself. I'm not going to get too crazy on the insides and everything. Alright, let's get this thing rinsed down. Looking nice, nice and fresh. Tri-Grip Detail Factory Brush.
Come on in, dude. Howdy. Come on. Hey, Shit. how are you doing, What's man? Up, dude? How are you? Good to see Another you guys. Day, no, how are you, man? Pretty good. How are you? Good, good, good. But it's looking pretty good, man. Yeah. I got this thing yeah. juiced up. I was surprised. We actually got the the brownish streaks out. Yeah. Wow, dude, the frame looks even like ridiculous. There you go. Interior cleaner onto the whole all the leather, the seats, the doors. Oh, it smells good in here. I was hoping you liked the leather set. I wasn't yeah. sure. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite ones. Yeah. You might want to grease it again. I don't know. There's no grease. <laughs> it's all, it's all. <laughs> yeah.